We're right in the middle of downtown Port-au-Prince, and it's just like block after block, totally, totally, absolutely leveled. On January 12, 2010, a powerful earthquake struck Haiti, killing over 300,000 people and leaving more than a million people homeless. The collapsed building behind me was a university. And when we came in to uh, just take some pictures of it, the people pleaded with us to see if there was any way we can get help. And the need is so overwhelmingly, uh, uh, I've lost capacity for words. There are just so many sick and injured. My name is Jerry Straub. I was in Port-au-Prince just two weeks before the earthquake and was shocked by the dire conditions I witnessed. This little girl is only two years old and she's blind. Uh, the doctors couldn't find any real reason for this, but there's nothing anyone can do. Their medical care is virtually absent. Just days after the disaster, I returned to Haiti with a team of doctors. I lived in one of the few hospitals which had not been destroyed. I traveled throughout the city with heroic doctors setting up field hospitals to care for the staggering numbers of wounded people. All of these people are on the side of the road outside of the hospital. I've seen surgical procedures being performed outside, some under tents, some not. Uh, it's really uh, kind of incomprehensible to take all this in. Over the course of the next year, I returned to Haiti seven more times, intentionally living in a huge slum without running water or electricity and with mice and rats. During those trips, I was able to better document the intense struggles of the poor, nearly a million of whom were still living in tents. We've just uh, climbed up a hillside amongst the rubble. The devastation on the hillsides here among the poor is uh, really hard to describe. And to be honest, it's, it's really dangerous to be here. I also saw their courage, their faith, their resiliency, and their ability to hope for a better future. After nine trips to Haiti during the country's most tumultuous year in its long, tortured history, I was left with countless images that are forever seared into my mind. The endless, mutilated, crushed victims, the horrendous living conditions, the sick, dying, and dead. Behind me is uh, the ruins of a, a grammar school, and there were many kids in the school when the building collapsed. This is unimaginable, the scope and dimension of the devastation. Yet for me, all that I witness can best be encapsulated in two simple and common objects, a mud pie and a kite, that speak plainly and clearly to both the despair and the hope I found in Haiti. A mud pie can be purchased for a penny. I could never imagine being so hungry and so broke that I had to resort to eating something made from mud something so vile it could make me sick or even kill me. A mud pie symbolizes, for me, the extreme poverty of so many Haitians. Mud pies are baked in ovens of anguish and hopelessness. While filming the tin shacks, the rotting trash, the spewing sewage, a little girl urinating in the garbage, a woman defecating in the open, naked kids running through pig-infested mud and rubbish. My senses were assaulted, and I was left feeling helpless and emotionally wrought. And then, something caught my eye and filled me with hope. It was a makeshift kite fashioned out of a garbage bag. The kids in the kite showed me how imagination could lift the human spirit out of the muck and hopelessness. And so, mud pies and kites came to symbolize the death and resurrection that is a daily event in Haiti. Presented in two parts, mud pies and kites is essentially about the necessity and importance of compassion. The film captures the dignity, determination, and courage of the poor, and in the midst of extreme poverty and deprivation, celebrates the possibility of a better future through mutual cooperation and genuine compassion which is the fullest expression of the luminous force of intentional love and kindness. Poxit Monum Communications relies on tax-deductible gifts to produce our films. 
please help us to continue serving the poor through the power of film.